as pirate cats. Who cares about the balloons? Fish is what we want. Big threat fish that you think your opponents don't want to get in a hoi kitten. And today we'll be teaching you how to play a hoi kitten, game designed by Yoshiteru Shinohara and published by Mayday Games. And hello everyone, it's Stella. And Taryn here from the Dice Tower. Let's get to the game. In Ahoy Kitten, players are pirate cats fighting to plunder the most plentiful supply of fish from the seas and from each other. Round by round, players will choose their targets, claiming any fish which went unopposed but unable to share those which they both lay claim. Whoever can collect and protect the most valuable set of fish by the end of the game will be the winner. To set up for the three to six player game, put all of the colored fish into the cloth bag. Give each player a colored character board flipped to the side showing the cats. In the center place circular ocean tiles equal to one fewer than the number of players and return leftover oceans and characters to the box. Draw and place at random two fish from the bag per tile. You're now ready to play. Ahoy Kitten is played in rounds, and in each round, players will lay simultaneous claim to a tile full of fish, trying to earn as many fish as possible. The first round is very simple. The only tiles to which claim can be laid are the circular tiles in the center of the table. On the count of three, all players simultaneously point at one ocean tile. If you are the only player to point at a specific ocean tile, then you get all of the fish on that ocean tile back to your character tile. If more than one player is pointing at a specific tile, then no players gain anything from that tile. And that's the end of the first round. Now refill the ocean tiles by adding one fish to any tile that currently has fish and two fish to any empty tile. From the second round onwards, your options are expanded. You can still choose one of the ocean tiles. Or, you can choose another player's character tile which has fish on it. Or, you can choose to protect your own tile. Selections are still made on the count of three. As for the ocean tiles, if multiple players point at the same tile, nothing happens. If only one player points at a character tile, that player steals all of the fish from the tile. Ocean tiles are resolved the same as always. If a player chooses to protect their own fish, then no other players steal them regardless of how many players were pointing there. And all of the fish from that tile are moved off the tile into your storage. These are now safe for the rest of the game. Anyone who's pointed at you gets nothing for this turn and you flip your character tile over to the ship side. Then after distributing any other fish which were claimed, refill the ocean tiles the same way as you did at the end of the first round. Again, proceed to the next round. From this point forward, any player whose character tile is on the ship side does not get to take an action in this round. Instead, the player's whole round is spent flipping this back over to the cat side. In effect, this means that every time you take the protect action to bank some fish, you will have to miss one round of fish hunting. A key part of the game is in optimizing when is the right time and how frequently should you do that. Players may freely discuss what actions they plan to take on any given round. This could be especially important when somebody has a lot of fish to bank, or perhaps if the players want to make mutually beneficial deals if there are a couple of tiles which are both quite strong. However, players cannot make any direct trades of resources and any agreements reached are non-binding once the fingers have been pointed. The end of the game is triggered when the cloth bag is empty and if there weren't enough fish in there for a complete refill, it's whoever is holding the bag who chooses where those fish go. You'll resolve the final round of pointing, distribute any final fish, and then proceed to endgame scoring. Players score both the fish in their storage and from their character tiles. Each white fish scores two points. Each set of a red, yellow, and blue fish scores five points. And each leftover fish scores one point. The player with the highest score wins, 
If tied, whoever has the most white fish wins, and if still tied, victory is shared. Ahoy Kitten may be played at two players using a variant, and when playing this mode, you'll use only 12 of each of the three coloured fish, removing six of each from the game. Each of the two players then plays two-handed, using two separate character cards and using their left hand to represent one and right hand to represent the other. All normal rules apply independently for each of your two hands, and you can even steal fish from one of your other hands in order to consolidate them for fewer protections. The main rule is that each hand can only protect its own character card. You cannot protect your right hand token with your left hand. At the end of the game, you'll count up your score separately for each of your two hands. Whichever of your hands has the lower score is your score, and whichever player has the higher lower score is the winner. And that's how to play Ahoy Kitten. Thank you so much for watching. Everything you do will help us. Every single view, every time you like the video. Let us know if you have any questions and comments, and see you next time. Bye.